You are listening to Independent TV 7. His party brought woes to Nigeria, Obaseki's ex aide attacks Pastor Bakari for praising Tinumbu. Bakari had praised Tinumbu's prowess in Yoruba land and noted that God does not need anyone's permission to put Tinumbu in a hall of fame. A former senior special assistant to the Edo State Governor of Godwin Ebaseki, Mr. Benjamin Atu, has described a statement by the senior pastor of Citadel Global Community, Lagos State, Tunde Bakari, about the 2023 presidential election of a national leader of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Tinumbu, as a collective slap on the intelligence of Nigerians. Bakari had praised Tinumbu's prowess in Yoruba land and noted that God does not need anyone's permission to put Tinumbu in a hall of fame. Bakari, a former presidential candidate, had stated this while preaching at the church in a sermon tag, an idle man's brain is the devil's workshop. Obaseki's former aide warned that Bakari should be able to explain to Nigerians the usefulness of Tinumbu's political dexterity to Nigerians and how such dexterity has reduced poverty and given Nigerians good roads and stable electricity. He said, why has Bakari decided to attack any Nigerian who did not support Tinumbu? Are we returning to an era of dictatorial tendency where freedom of speech is elusive? Where is the beauty of democracy if individuals are no more at liberty to queue behind the leaders of their choice? There is a need to take a closer look at the intentions of Bakari. Atu added, Today, the same Bakari has turned against himself to celebrate the same man he once described with unprintable words. Bakari, through his unguarded utterances, has made himself a danger sport to Nigeria's emerging democracy. Atu, who is also served as a senior special assistant to the deputy governor of Edo State, Philip Shaibu, stated further, Bakari's unguided utterances will create instability and ethnic crisis in the country. He has, by his utterance, demonstrated that Nigeria is not a nation for all races. Nigerians can draw inspiration from such unguided utterances. The media professional advocated the need for Nigerians to collectively converse a political arrangement that frustrates Bakari's type of politics in Nigeria. He said, we must kick against tribal political parties Bakari once tackled Tinumbu and blamed Tinumbu for the worsening economy hardship and poor infrastructure. Nigerians woke up disappointed today to see the same man telling Nigerians that he, Tinumbu, will be the 16th president of Nigeria. Now that both the pilot and Herod have agreed to come together, Nigerians should beware of such collision. They have not come together for our collective good but to foster parochial interest. Atu cautioned against allowing personal interests to take precedence over the citizenry's collective interests. Nigeria can be used as a reward for Tinumbu's faithfulness to his political party. Tinumbu fought for his party's victory and not Nigerians' victory. He shouldn't only come or claim responsibility for his party's triumph. He should also be able to claim responsibility for the oaths that his party had caused us as a country. He should prove to Nigerians that his party was prepared for good governance by joining forces to liberate us from the tension across the nation. Every crisis has taken us on our way, and that has exposed our unpreparedness for governance. The future of Nigeria can be used as a reward for an individual. Bakari's call is to undermine democracy in Nigeria, and such call must be collectively resisted. We need a Nigerian president and not a president of the Yoruba nation. He noted, this is a call and a cry from his party brought us to Nigeria. Obaseki's aide attacked Pastor Bakari for praising Tinumbu. Atu has been lamenting that Bakari had praised Tinumbu's prowess in Yoruba land and noted that God does not need anyone's permission to put Tinumbu in a hall of fame. 
according to Atu, Atu said in his last post and his last article, he said the future of Nigeria can be used as a reward for an individual. Bakare's call is to undermine democracy in Nigeria, and such call must be collectively resisted. We need a Nigerian president and not a president of the Yoruba nation, he noted. You are listening to Independent TV 7. I would like you to share your comment and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Independent TV 7. Thanks for listening.